Dana White says that Floyd Mayweather is going to come back and compete for some money in some type of capacity. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, the Cash App, and the Patreon family. We working. Sign up for ESPN Plus below using my link. It does help the channel, and I appreciate you guys. Now, let's talk about it. Dana White did an interview with ESPN, and he says that a couple things have to play out, but he's going to be in touch with Al Heyman, and this is in regards to Floyd Mayweather coming back. Floyd Mayweather, if you guys remember a couple weeks ago, I did a video about it. He says, I'm ending my retirement. I'm coming back out of retirement 2020. You know, Floyd very cryptic with his messages. He didn't clarify. He didn't give no details, no venues, nothing. But this is supposed to be for him fighting in some type of capacity. I don't know if he's going to go to the MMA. This is something that's been long rumored. I don't know if it would be a boxing fight or if it will be modified rules. Ain't no telling with Floyd. Floyd is a man of mystery. He likes to be the man in charge. He looks like he's in shape. I just seen him a couple of days ago at the Tank Davis fight. He still looks to be in shape. So I, I think he's known that he's going to come back. There's just so much money in the sport. I think Floyd misses the spotlight and the attention. You know, all these other fighters, Javante and different fighters, Deontay Wilder making noise. And I think Floyd is missing that. He's missing that action and missing being the center of attention. And that's what happens with fighters. Sometimes fighters, you know, you, you only have so much money. You fight for a living and everybody treating you like the champ in training camp. You, you become a glutton for it, like glutton for the punishment, for the hard work, the dedication, the running. And Floyd might get, you know, he might be in that same position. I don't really know. Floyd hasn't really said what it is, but that's what I kind of suspect. Plus money, he was on the Forbes list, highest paid athletes of the decade. So he might just be looking to make some more money in the game and those types of things. So be on the Forbes list again this decade. So money is probably the motive. Um, I don't have any details as to what he's going to come back and do, who he's going to fight, what style of fight is going to be. You know, I'll wait for the details, but... That's the latest. Some people are going to be like, nah, stay retired. Some people want to see Floyd come back. Some people want to see Floyd lose. I just think Floyd should be careful because I don't, you know, I don't know the details, so I can't really speak too much on it. But all I know is father time is unforgiving. Floyd went out on his terms. And if you keep playing with it and taking extended breaks and two years off, it's worked when you came back to fight Conor McGregor. It's worked when you came back to fight Juan Manuel Marquez. But, you know, you could get to a point where you take so long out of the ring and then somebody's fresher, somebody's stronger, younger, more active, and you're in there and you're not feeling right. So, I don't know if, again, Floyd's fought exhibitions before that didn't count on his record. I don't know what they have in store, but if it's something that would compromise his boxing record, then he should definitely um, be cautious of that. Because, again, you can't just... Boxing is not for play. Floyd knows that. And you can't just peek your head in when you want, especially as you get older. Those types of things. You know, that's my personal opinion on it. Um, it's cool. I Like, I just... Me, personally, I don't mind if Floyd comes back. He's a grown man. It's his decision. I just don't want it to interrupt or disrupt some of the other stars. Like, I don't want to see Floyd necessarily scene-stealing from other fighters who are really permanent and, you know, trying to, trying to fix their legacy and take legacy fights. I don't want to see those fights take a back burner for the Floyd show. 
you know, where there's like another good fight on and then no one's talking about it for some kind of circus type of fight. So those are my thoughts. I don't really have too much to say because I don't know what Dana White and Floyd have in store, but it's supposed to be something with them collectively. And according to Dana, it's something with Floyd fighting, you know. Very interesting stuff. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. If you love what I'm doing, smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego. Signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego the future of boxing.